Hi, this is Joanna from Wild House Boats. Welcome to the magical Murray River, home to some of the most beautiful landscapes and scenery in Australia. Here at Wild House Boats, we are proud to offer our guests a truly unique experience, allowing them to explore this beautiful region in the comfort of none other than our unique and boutique Wow Factor. But what makes Wow Factor truly special and our commitment to safety and sustainability. Let me explain. So Wow Factor is more than some of the most beautiful locations on the Murray River, carefully chosen for their natural beauty and tranquility. So currently what I'm showing you is a guide only as there are many Wow Factor locations to choose from. This is exclusive to Wow House Boats. And at the same time, we have a GPS tracker and dual screens with a map highlighting all the ground land where you can moor for 21 days. But we don't take these occasions for granted. We have a partnership with the Department of Environment and Water working together to identify crown lands in the magical Murray River and ensure that our guests can enjoy these beautiful locations while respecting the environment and its natural inhabitants. Where can I moor my houseboat along Crownland? So you can moor a houseboat or you can moor Wow Factor for a temporary stay of up to 21 days on a Crownland. The permanent mooring of houseboats on a Crownland is not permitted except for authorized by the appropriate tenure or in a designated marina. Some parts of the river are held under freehold title to the water's edge. You're not permitted to moor a houseboat on these occasions without the permission of the landowner. So as you can see, I'm currently showing you the wow factor crown land map that we have uh, worked with the Department of Environment and Water. So in this map, it goes from Wellington to Blanchetown, identifying all types of crown land, whether it be a council land, a crown lease, a crown lease perpetual, a crown land and alienated, and a crown land reserve. So in this scenario, you'll be able to enjoy in a certain location if it's uh, permitted to stay and whatnot. So water levels are changing on a regular basis and houseboat owners are encouraged to regularly check their vessels and adjust mooring ropes as necessary. This is not only important as river levels rise, but also when waters recede due to the risk of strandings. Houseless owners and operators should show caution mooring to trees as flood waters subside. Trees could be susceptible to collapse as flood waters may have softened the ground and or eroded around the roots. Additional forces supplied from a moored vessel may increase the risk of collapse, which could cause direct damage to it. The mooring of houses to existing structures along the river may result in damage to that structure around the houseboat. You may be liable for any damage resulting from your effort to secure your houseboat. Flood waters are likely to extend past previously accessible waterfront public land and onto private land, and you may be required to seek permission to mirror your houseboat from the landholder or responsible land manager. Please take note that the Department of Environment and Water is not responsible for the recovery or refloating of houseboats should they become stranded as a result of receding flood waters. In the event that your vessel becomes stranded or wow factor becomes stranded, you will be required to organize the recovery or the floating of the vessel at your cost. If your vessel is stranded on a crown land and for a period longer than 21 days, you will be required to seek authority from the Department of Environment and Water on behalf of the Minister for Climate, Environment and Water for it to temporarily remain on the crown land until it is recovered. Any authority provided would be subject to applicable terms and conditions and permits. But that's not all. We also use Split Log, a state-of-the-art tracking system that allows us to monitor the location and safety of wow factor at all times. This helps us ensure the safety of both wow factor and our guests, giving us peace of mind and allowing our guests to relax and enjoy their holiday. So what I'm currently showing you right now is the Fleet Lag system. And currently, one of our fleet 
recorded here is wow well factor and then the current location. So as you can see, this is how we track wow factor and where it's currently located and how it went by from its current location or the previous occasion to its current location and where it's currently moving and what time of the day and stuff and whatnot. We are also able to export reports from fleet log in terms of like the daily activity, odometer, parameters, hours worked, and then the logbook. So if we checked on the logbook, we're able to know exactly the location and time, the places where the wow factor stayed, driven distance, duration for each trip, and of course, where they had refueled the wow factor, stop time, and idle time. So in this way, you are able to not only track where wow factor is, but the importance of, you know, the safety of, again, of both the houseboat and of course, our guests. So there you have it. Wow houseboats with our commitment to responsible tourism, beautiful mooring locations, and state-of-the-art tracking and safety systems. Come and experience the wow factor for yourself and enjoy the ultimate Mario River adventure in style and comfort. Thank you. Bon voyage.